CompTIA, Security Plus, SY0-701, Practice Exam. Questions 161 through 165. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great. Let's begin. Question 161. A company's gate access logs show multiple entries from an employee's ID badge within a two-minute period. Security cameras confirm the employee only entered once during that time. Which of the following attacks is most likely occurring? The answer is A. RFID cloning. A cloned RFID badge is a counterfeit copy of a legitimate employee's access badge created by duplicating the badge's radio frequency identification data. Attackers can capture this data using inexpensive RFID readers placed near the victim, often without the victim knowing. Once cloned, the attacker can use the duplicate badge to enter secure areas, resulting in access logs that show multiple entries from the same ID. This creates a discrepancy that may only be detected through physical security measures, like surveillance footage. Question 162. A security engineer is implementing secure configuration baselines for the organization's infrastructure. Which of the following most accurately describes the correct order for implementing secure baselines? The answer is C. Establish, deploy, maintain. Implementing secure baselines involves first establishing the baseline, which defines the approved configurations for systems and devices. Once established, the baseline is deployed across applicable systems to ensure consistency and security. Finally, the baseline is maintained over time through monitoring, updates, and patch management to ensure continued compliance and effectiveness. This process helps reduce vulnerabilities and enforce security standards across the environment. Question 163. A SOC analyst receives a tip from threat intelligence that malware may be present on a user's device. During the investigation, the analyst locates a suspicious file with the above text contents. Which of the following actions should the SOC analyst perform first? The answer is A. Instruct the user to change their password. The discovery of a file capturing keystrokes strongly suggests that a keylogger is present on the user's device. Based on the text in the file, the most immediate concern is that the user's banking credentials have likely been compromised. The first step should be to instruct the user to change their password, ideally from a secure and trusted system, to prevent further unauthorized access. While actions like isolating the infected system and conducting malware analysis are also critical, Securing account access takes top priority. Question 164. A security analyst is reviewing a newly discovered vulnerability in a legacy application. The exploit's success and overall impact seem to change depending on system-specific paths and stored credentials, which are represented as dynamic values that vary between machines. Which of the following is most likely influencing the behavior of the vulnerability? The answer is B. Environmental variables. Environmental variables are dynamic values stored by the operating system that applications can reference during execution. These variables can include system paths, usernames, configuration data, or temporary storage locations. In vulnerability management, the contents of these variables can directly influence how a vulnerability behaves or what level of access it provides once exploited. Therefore, understanding them is critical when assessing the scope and potential impact of an exploit across different systems. Question 165. A company is implementing a new AAA solution to manage employee remote access to corporate resources. The solution must support centralized authentication, authorization, and accounting, as well as compatibility with a wide range of network devices. Which of the following is the best solution to meet these requirements? The answer is D. Radius. 
Radius is a centralized AAA protocol that provides authentication, authorization, and accounting services for users accessing network resources, particularly in remote access environments. It allows organizations to verify user credentials, enforce access policies, and monitor user activity from a single point of management. With broad support across VPNs, wireless access points, switches, and firewalls, Radius is a strong choice for managing access in large environments. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.